During ultrasound examination of the posterior surface of the heel, the patient assumes the prone position. This is the Achilles tendon. We first place the ultrasound transducer under the sagittal or the longitudinal view to view the Achilles tendon and the retral calcaneal bursa. For the examination of the retral calcaneal bursa, we recommend the usage of a smaller transducer head, as you can see over here. Again, the transducer is placed in the sagittal plane to view the sonographic images of the retral calcaneal bursa. When you turn the transducer by 90 degrees, you can then see the transverse view of the retral calcaneal bursa. It is under this sonographic view in which the needle is guided into the bursa for the injection treatment of retral calcaneal bursitis. This is the sagittal sonographic view of the retro calcaneal bursa. As you can see here, the bursa is enlarged and is located between the calcaneus, as you can see here, and the Achilles tendon. After turning the transducer by 90 degrees, the transverse sonographic view of the retro calcaneal bursa can be observed. As you can see here, this is the enlarged bursa situated between the calcaneus and the Achilles tendon. Under the transverse view, the hyperechoic injection needle is guided into the enlarged retro calcaneal bursa. The needle tip is now within the bursa, and we will start the injection treatment now. After the injection, the retro calcaneal bursa is clearly distended by the injected fluid. This concludes the video demonstration of ultrasound guided injection treatment of retro calcaneal bursitis. Thank you.